They often say talk is cheap in boxing. You can't claim to be the best. In order to get that recognition, you have to fight the best. On December 16th, live on zone, two fighters who claim to be the best in their division will finally meet to settle the debate to see who really is number one. IBF unbeaten flyweight champion Sonny Edwards will take on WBO unbeaten champion Jesse Bam Rodriguez. Before they meet in the ring, they meet here face to face. This is Sonny versus Bam. This is Face Off. Uh, always, when it's these type of fights, big unification fights, I'm always keen to know who asked for this, who asked for this fight. Um, you've had good victories at Superfly. You've been dominating the flyweight division. Have you been chasing him or have you been chasing him? It's hard really because before it was BAM, it was a fight like this that I needed. So it was whoever came first. Um, I've said it time again, probably boring BAM and everyone else by saying it. Eddie's even said it. When I signed with Matchroom, it didn't matter if it was BAM, Quadras, Estrada, Martinez, it didn't matter who it was, I was fighting them. But I'm probably the biggest and the hardest name in my division right now, so it was one I was definitely pushing for. One of the top 15, 20 pounds pound in the world. Um, they're the fights I want to be in. It's, I chase greatness, not fake unbeaten records. 2022 was your year, Bam, right? And a lot of people had you in Bivol's fight of the year. Fantastic year at Superfly. Um, obviously, Junior Fly is your, your natural weight. You've come down to flyweight. Are you chasing him or are you chasing more gold in another weight division? Oh, uh, well, it's always been a plan to, you know, get titles in multiple weight divisions. And um, I got the call late notice to fight Quadras at 115. So that was the reason I moved up. And like I said, that's always been the plan to win multiple titles in different weight divisions. So that's why we dropped down. And um, when, I, when I moved down to 112 and fought for this belt, uh, Sonny started mentioning my name. So it only made sense. So to interrupt. I feel like that's not really how it went. I feel like when you was at 115, your trainer and manager, I believe, Robert Garcia put out, oh, we're going to come down to 112. Well, while she was a champion, we're going to come down to 112 and we're going to come to the UK and we're going to beat Sonny Edwards. And the reason why I was a bit disappointed is because none of those three things happened. Like, if I issue a challenge and say what I'm going to do, I'm a man of my word and I don't think Garcia was in that. They said you was coming down straight away to fight me at 112 in the UK. And none of those happened. You came down to 112 and fought for that title against a vacant one. And that's where my, not animosity came, but then I started thinking, well, hold on. Because then when you won that, if we pull it back, Robert Garcia also said after the fight, oh, we would probably look at super flyweight as well. So that's when the talking started a bit more. That's when the chasing, because I weren't missing, I weren't missing this fight. But I weren't doing no more mandatories. I weren't doing no more. I mean, it is what it is. What matters now is that the fight's signed. The fight's already set. So December 16th, he gets what he wants. It is a big unification fight, right? I mean, there are other belt holders in the division. Can you both say this is number one versus number two? I know both of you will say you're number one, but can you both say this is number one versus number two? Martinez has been saying things like, one second, he should be in this conversation. Martinez shouldn't even be still had a belt. Like, he's a joke, I'll be real. Not only did he fail a drugs test after he, you know, I did my brother that, and then get a bound for it, he won't fight number one there arrogant over there. They won't make a fight with no one. No, no. They want millions to fight me. They probably want millions to fight him. It's a travesty right now that on this table, the ring magazine's not in the middle. I think, I think it's disgusting. I think he was probably one of the best fighters at super flyweight, but before he got a chance to instill it, he's come down. He's a world champion. He's the only one at flyweight that's a two-weight world champion. He's unbeaten as well, where, where, where Martinez isn't. Probably fought better fighters for the most part and beat better fighters for the most part at higher weight, which you, you meant to assume is harder than Martinez. So the fact that it's not number one, number two, number one, number two, in some which way for me is, is mind blowing. Do you think you're fighting the best flyweight out there? Definitely. Um, Sonny, you know, he's been at the top of his game for a while. So this is definitely my toughest fight against my best fighter. So can't wait. Interesting you say your toughest fight. You, you're a man that's beat Rung Versailles, right? Yeah. No one wanted to fight Rung Versailles. You beat Quadras. No one wanted to fight him. Israel Gonzalez as well. But you think Sonny's better than him? Definitely. IQ wise, maybe not the hardest hitter Rung Versailles was, but you know, that uh, Sonny definitely has the highest IQ. So that's why I say it is my toughest fight. You had that fantastic win against Maruti when a lot of people said Maruti was going to beat you. You're inexperienced. You'd come from Superfly. Do you think this is a tougher fight for you than that? Um, in certain ways, Mori was a fantastic fighter, a great fighter, and he really pulled out every little bit of me to get through that. People think because I made it look easy, it was, it was the furthest thing. From rounds nine and ten, I'm thinking about my legs getting, I don't even get off up the store, I stand up, but that was a hard fight. So I would put Bam up there with them sorts of fighters, genuinely, but maybe 
you know, I mentioned before, he's younger. So therefore his experience actually in the ring, in the clinch, in the fight, will pale in comparison to someone who's had 42 fights. It has to. It's going to be tough in a different way. Um, he's definitely the biggest name of box and yeah, probably the hardest fight as well, but maybe hard in a, a different way. You mentioned his age a few times. Obviously, look, Bam is young and he's had so much success. He's only 23, but he has been in there in big fights, right? Canelo won the card. He's headlined his own shows as well. Why do you think his age is going to play a part in this? You've said it a few times. The, the journey of a fighter, the fighter they are at 23 usually doesn't pay on comparison. If they do it right, it's the one they're going to be at 27. 27, at 30, they're usually better again. And at 33, they're probably usually better again. Maybe they lose a little something. But if you spent 15, 20 years applying yourself to a professional sport and, you know, before that, the amateurs, you're gaining experience, you're gaining knowledge, you're also getting more comfortable with your mind in the ring. When you get to that age 32, 33, 34, 35, and you've had 40 fights, you can be very numb and very still across everything that happens in front of you. And I feel like I've experienced that against the Maurice. And for, when you get the younger fighters, you see a waver a bit. You see the, the eyes move. You see expressions on their face. You see miss a shot and really trying to get it. You hear the crowd going, they're reacting to it. Like, you're just a bit more temperamental with everything that's going on around you. For me personally, anyway. You spend a couple of rounds making you know, the veteran miss. All they're thinking is, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you. You spend a couple of rounds making the prospect that's been punching people's heads in. All of a sudden, their world's falling apart. What is going on? Boxing doesn't look like this for me. When I'm delivering, it looks like this, like this. And he's been so dominant. And everyone, everyone has said that, though, about Bam. Quadra said the same thing. He said he's a kid, he's a baby. And I think he showed against Quadra that you're not a, you're not yeah, a kid. Yeah, but, but they came with that mind thinking they're going to walk him down and bully him. And that was what getting punched up by him. Because when they stood in front of him with their feet set and trying to just brace into his shots, he was blinding them through the middle, stepping and just terrorizing them around the side, through the middle, everywhere. And also, no, without going to, I don't want to take it disrespectful and I don't want to take it there. He's going through a lot and I've, I've wished him the best on it a few times. You know, I've had two children and I know what that range of emotions is like. It's building all the way up to a fight. My kid's mom gave birth, you know, 10 days before, um, you know, one of my first big breakout fights. And then something like two and a half weeks before I won this very title against Maverick. So I know exactly what it's like going through that range of emotions for a big fight. And it can be the making or breaking of you, but at the same time, like for a young man, first child, Probably biggest fight. They say there's a lot emotionally to go through. Do you think he's trying to find things? He's talking about personal life in terms of what you're yeah. going through, your age. Um, again, people pointed these things out before and you're an unbeaten two-way world champion. I mean, I'm ready. Uh, my baby on the way is just more motivation mm -hmm. to, the, to uh, you know, train harder. I want to provide everything for my kids. So, like he says, I mean, he probably did go through a lot, but, you know, I'm built for these kind of things mentally, physically. I've always been ready for these kind of moments. So. December 16th, I'm gonna be more than ready. Well, what's this like? You've had uh, opponents say things, but not like this. Yeah. Being around someone like Sonny, this kind of personality, high energy. What's it like in a build up for a fight for you? I mean, it's cool. I, you know, I expected uh, Sonny to approach me a lot more different, but he came, you know, very respectful. So it is what it is. Both of you have said in interviews have said you're the best flyweights in the world, right? You both got gold here that can, I guess, attest to that. Why do you think you're the best flyweight on the planet? Because, uh, I know I am. I don't think I am. I just, I know I'm number one. Yeah. No one can beat me. Yeah. Sonny, same question to you. Why do you think you're the best? I mean, you've had more defenses of this, right? This has kind of been your division. Why do you think you're the best? I know I'm the best in the world and I'm waiting for someone to show me that I'll be real, that they're, they're, they're even on levels of competitiveness where the final bell goes and we're questioning who won. I don't think I've had that. Every time a final bell has gone, unanimous same decision. Same. same as him. Unanimous decision. Yeah, he's a great fighter, but he's not been in the ring with me yet. I think Bam gives me my credit because when he watches what I do, he knows that it's not an easy thing to do, you know? He, he's, he's smart enough in a boxing ring and, and his IQ is high enough that he don't just look at me and think, oh, what he's doing is running or that. He, he's actually seeing what I'm doing. And that's why I'm so excited to get in the ring with him because I feel like one of the very few times I'll be in a boxing ring, we'll both turn and we'll probably catch each other and pivot at the same time. And that moment when it happens the first time, I can't wait. Because very rarely people have thought about to keep up with me and I think Bam does, and I'm looking forward to it. And so he does Southpaw as well, which is, I guess, bringing its own uh, problems. Uh, for who? For, for everyone. For who? Everyone hates facing Southpaws. Though, who does? Me? Well, you, you like it. Addy, have you watched any of my fights yet? I've watched a lot of them. How much time do I switch around? Quite a bit. And why do I switch? Because you can. No, but why do I switch? I don't know, you tell me. To get that channel. Down the middle. So if he's Southpaw, oh, fantastic, I can go Orthodox. If you're Orthodox, I want to go Southpaw. I want that channel. I want the lead hand, and I want the channel. I don't want to fight the same stance. So him being Southpaw, 
is better than him being uh, orthodox fighter. Because if he was orthodox, then I'd have to go southpaw and be switching and go around to get what I want. Now I can stay on my strong side. I love southpaws. So no problem for me. Trust me. That's why I switch. Did this surprise you how confident he is? No. I'm, Again, you're, you're most people, I've seen pound for pound this. Some people are scratching you as the top 10 yeah. pound for pound, the 2 world champion. Are you surprised how confident he is? No, nah, I mean, he's always been that way. You know, from as long as I've known him, he's always, you know, been this kind of way. So it don't surprise me at all. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the fight. Um, it is a way. You mentioned there was a conversation, at least, of it happening in the UK. Are you slightly worried going away? Basically, going to be 90% of the fans will be in there for BAM. Are you worried about the judging, the scorecards? Now, I'll be real, we've got, you know, meetings and we've got conversations where now, it weren't before, but now it's going to be a bit more stringent on, okay, who are the judges going to be? Where are they going to be from? Where's the ref going to be from? How are we going to balance this out? So I don't feel like I'm going, are we going to have three complete neutral judges? Are we going to have, you know, two American, one British and a British ref? Are we going to have it the other way? Like, how are we going to do? We're going to have to sit down and have that conversation. Would you have come to the UK to fight Sonny? Yeah, I would have. Yeah. I think you'll fight anywhere, right? Yeah. That's always been the BAM approach. Anybody, anywhere. Yeah. Simple. I rate that. I'm the same. I I've seen a few people, BAM, say that this would be and could be easy work for you. I've seen, I've read articles, I've seen people that you know in the boxing game say that as well. Is that because they're underestimating Sonny or they're maybe thinking you are as special as everyone thinks you are? I feel like they're underestimating him a bit just because maybe his lack of power, but the IQ he has makes up for that lack of power. So it is a difficult fight. And you know, people can say what they want, but I know what I'm up against. And I know that's why I'm gonna go hard in the gym. So yeah. I'll be ready. So I hear this lack of power thing a lot, but then I hear the sparring stories. I hear about you dropping bigger guys uh, in sparring. Why don't we see that in the ring as much? Because for every millisecond that I hold my feet standing in front of you know, another athlete that has dedicated his whole entire life to get to the same position I am to challenge me for these belts. You know, that extra second, that extra bit of energy, that extra bit of power to throw one shot, it could get me knocked out, it could get me tired, it could, could, could make me lose. Like, where I box, I box in a certain rhythm and a certain flow state where I'm not even trying to hurt someone. I'll be real, there's not one part of me in my mind when I box that I want to knock someone out. Do, do that, I'm there for the 36 don't minutes. Do you think you need to hurt him in this one? to go to America and get a decision in America. Oh, you don't need to hunt no one, man. Yeah, I'll box him. If you hit someone 15 times and they hit you once per round, clear as day, when did I need to hurt him? You think you can outbox Ben? Yeah, I can outbox anyone. I think I'm probably, you know, the best fence boxer. Like, stay out of range, pick single shots, make you miss, frustrate you, slow the rhythm down. I'm probably that guy times 100 compared to anyone else on the world right now. I know I'm very tough. I know I can get caught. I know I can get put down. I know I can get up. I've got a heart for it as well. It's I was never say a this, Bam. I mean, he's saying all this, but I've seen fights where Sonny has gone down and has been hit. So do you listen to this and think, one second, okay, look, you're saying all this, but you have been touched in fights. You have gone down in fights. Yeah, I feel like, you know, he hasn't hit, been hit by me though. So. Bam, do you think you can knock him out? Yes. Do you expect to knock him out? I think he needs to, to win. I'll be I'm not going into the fight looking for a knockout, but I know it can happen. I think he needs to though, me personally. I think he needs to. I left the you, judges. You're hearing you know. that then. Do you hear that as he thinks you can't outbox him? Mm, well, I'm not going into the fight trying to outbox him. I know what I have to do. I know how he fights, so. Yeah, you know, one thing I've noticed about you, Sonny, uh, and I've followed you for a few years, I feel like you try and soul destroy before you get in the ring. Uh, you do, you do. It's a lot of mind games before you get in the ring. I wouldn't, I wouldn't I agree. I always feel like with Bam, he's almost blanked out from it. Yeah, yeah, of course. But yeah. like, like with different personalities, but I'll be raw. And I, and I mean this genuinely. And to you, Addy, there is never a stage where I'm doing anything to try and get in the head, try and I get you advantage. I don't think you're on purpose. I just think it's you. Yeah, but I mean, you're saying I'm getting, if you're, if you're saying, you're sat here saying you think I'm getting into his head. Yeah. That's one thing. What I'm saying is I don't come here. I want in Orlando. I think I'll play table tennis. I want sat at the black. I don't do anything yeah, out of who I am as a person to go and get in your head. Cause I, for me, that's, I'm losing a version of myself. What, what do I look like having to make some big distraction or like whatever, however you want to say it in order to win this fight? No. I'll be raw. I felt like I won the fight from when he agreed. Did, did you see the image of him taking your belt and putting it on? Oh, I did see it on Twitter, yeah. Yeah, what did you make of that? I think they should have asked me. Okay, it was a disrespectful act, maybe, in a sense. But I don't think it was done in a disrespectful way because I felt a bit like, oh, I shouldn't be doing this. And I would have asked if he, if he was there. And, but I did say to the camera people, no, no, when Bam comes, 
get him to be able to take the picture because like, I wouldn't have liked it if it was the other way around. Bam, um, incredible success at Superfly, right? Uh, honestly, uh, well done. Beat a couple of veterans and then he beat Israel Gonzalez, which I thought was a fantastic performance. Why not stay at Superfly? Chocolatito is there, Estrada is there, big fights, right? Big fights in America. Why come down to flyweight again? Like I said, I just want to be um, um, champion in multiple weight divisions, pick up multiple belts in different weight classes. So that's why we moved back down. Yeah. But both of your biggest wins have come against veterans, right? You and Maruti, a veteran, and you and whether it be Rung Vasai or Quadras. This is, and you can guys can tell me I'm not being fair here, but for me, this is your first big fight against guys that are still at their peak. You're very much right now fired on all cylinders, and so are you. Does that make it your biggest win then? This is probably my biggest fight. Well, no, this is not probably, no doubt about it. My biggest event, because it's the build up, it's the anticipation, it's the, oh, who's going to win? It's people caring. Do you like this extra pressure I feel like you put on yourself? Is that, do, is that I love how it, you, it? Yeah. I'll be real, yeah. When there's something at stake, it moves my emotion needle. I spend a lot of the time numb to a lot of things. There's not much in this life that really like, do anything for me really these days. And when I get into a, a boxing ring and I already know that I'm going to beat the kids, you get a, a, a softer version of me, you get like a less switched on, you get a less animated, everything. But you give me something I can really buy my teeth into. Pam Rodriguez, like this is a proper fight. You obviously think you're going to win the fight. A lot of your supporters think this is going to be easy work. Tell Sonny how you think you're going to beat him. I'm going to knock you out. No, I'm going to be punching out this day one. in the distance. You know, no? No distance? No. You're going to be the first man to do it. Makes it that much better. Oh, of course, of course. This would be better than the, the world title, I think. Yeah, definitely. 100%. That's the first time. When you said you'll knock him out, that's the first time I've seen in all this build-up where it was almost a different turn of you. Like everyone knows Bam is relaxed and smiling. That was the first time I almost saw the killer Bam that I see in the ring. Yeah. He was very serious there, Sonny. Yeah, his eyelashes went up. I can't believe it. <laughs> very, very serious. Sonny, tell him what you're going to do to him in the ring. I feel like I get in there and it's the same old one. Oh, he's seen that. So you know what to expect. You know what you get in the ring with. You know, just don't be surprised by it. Don't be frustrated by it. It's a good fight. It's a great fight. But I know I'm going to win. First round knockout. Uh, a lot of respect it's between there. you guys. Which now, is good to see, right? It's good to see. a good guy, man. And, and I've said it before, but not in this. He's the closest thing to me for an American fighter that I've seen, you know. Career fighter. Older brother, I learned mistakes from, you know, probably caught up earlier, probably became better than even earlier. Um, so I, 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 I'd be stupid to just get in my like sort of ignorant head and not take this man as a serious threat. Because is it too easy to say this is puncher versus boxer? Bam's very good at bringing his power throughout his fight and you know, trying to make it count in the fight. Maybe I'm not as good as that in the fight. I'm very, very good at using what I do have though to win the fight, keep him honest, keep him missing and not get too caught up into what they want me to do. That's very interesting about both of you. It's so confident in different ways. Because you both are world champions, because both of you are unbeaten, you know, no, no, no problems in the ring so far. I know you had your jaw broken. I know you've been down, but you've been able to overcome those. Someone is going to be very disappointed come December 16th. Someone, one of you two. And no one knows who it's going to be. All right, final predictions. How does it play out, Sonny? I think I could knock him up, genuinely. I know a lot of people don't believe it, I genuinely think I could. I you know, just smiled when you heard that. That's what I wanted to see because if you get in the ring with me and let everyone else tell you he don't punch, I'll give you two rounds, three rounds before there's a slight change in your behaviour. I promise you. If I was you, I'd start getting into the mindset that he might hit a little bit harder than I think. Bam, how does it play out? I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to win. That's that. As you have done. I don't need to talk, talk and talk. I'm going to win. Is there any concern about the draw, Bam? Nah. I feel good. My jaw feels good, so I'm ready. Okay, guys, um, handshake, which I think is going to be easy because you have been respectful between yeah. both of you. Let's shake hands. And the best man win. December good the fight. 16th? That's right. December the 16th, live on the zone, champion versus champion, IBF versus WBO, Bram Rodriguez versus Sonny Edwards. Make sure you tune in. You do not want to miss this unification fight.